Hi there, welcome to this PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating this stunning opening slide for your presentation. You'll learn how to insert an image into a shape and add animation to make it engaging. And before we start, I'd like to ask you for your support. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell. Your help means a lot to me. You can also find the link to the presentation in the description section below. And now let's get started. Open up a new blank presentation. First, we'll need to add a few new guides to the slides so we would be able to see the slide edges later on when we add our elements. Just put your mouse over one of the existing guides, hold down your Option key or Alt key if you're on Windows, and pull the guide. Create one on each side. Perfect, let's create the first element. Grab the rectangle tool from the shapes menu and create a rectangle that looks similar to this one. Then open up the format pane, which is this button up here. And first remove the outline by selecting no line in the line section. And then we would need to change the fill color to this very light gray. Now rotate the rectangle by 45 degrees clockwise. and place it like this on your slide. Feel free to increase it if needed. Perfect! Next, we would need to create a rectangle with rounded corners. Navigate over up top to the Shapes menu, grab this rounded rectangle tool and click anywhere on the slide to create one. Change its size to 9.5 by 9.5. Remove the outline around the shape by selecting no line in the line section and change the fill color to red. Then rotate your shape by 45 degrees clockwise. And now let's add some drop shadow. Navigate over to the format shape pane, switch to the effects tab, and in the shadow section we would need to open the process menu and select the offset center option. And now we'll need to adjust some settings here. I'm gonna set transparency to 70% and blur to 30 points. Then let's place our shape like this on the slide. Perfect, and now we need to create a copy. I'm gonna hold down my Option key, if you're on Windows that would be a Control key for you, and pull the shape to the side. Then let me bring down its size to 8.5 by 8.5 cm. And we'll need to remove its fill color. And choose Solid Line in the Line section. Also we'll need to set its width to 3 points, and change color to Dark Blue. Next, we would need to switch to the Effects tab. In the Process menu, select the second option, which is Offset Bottom. Change Transparency to 80%. Blur to 10 points. Make sure your angle is set to 90 degrees. And distance should be 10 points. And let me place the shape on top of the red one like this. Alright, next what we need to do is to add an image to the slide. I'm gonna head over to the picture menu and click on picture from file. Select the image you want to use and click insert. And I'm gonna place that image inside a rectangle with rounded corners. And for that I'm gonna create a copy of this red rectangle and place it right above the image. We'll need to increase its size, so switch over to the shape menu and change the width and height properties to 12 cm. Then we need to select the image and the shape. Make sure you select your image first and only then the shape. It's gonna be important for this cropping mask effect. Then while in the shape menu click on the merge shapes button and in the menu select intersect. I want to adjust the visible part of the crop area, so I'm gonna go over to the picture format tab. Then activate this crop tool. 
And now I can decrease my image and move it within the crop mask. And now I want to apply to it the same shadow effect I have on my other rectangle. And to do that, I can simply select this stretch rectangle. Then in the home ribbon, I'm gonna click this format button. That's gonna copy its styles. And now I can apply the styles to my image by clicking on it. Great. I also want to add an outline around it, so I'm gonna go to the Format Picture panel over on the right side. In the Line section, I'll choose Solid Line, set width to 3 points, and change its color to white. Let's bring the image right here. And I also want to adjust my middle element. And now we want to create a few more rectangles with rounded corners. I'm gonna create a copy of the red one and move it to the top right corner of my slide. Change its color to dark blue, the same color we've used before. Then create one more copy and place it in the bottom right corner and change its color to white. Next, I want to create a copy of this dark blue element and place it over my white rectangle. Now let's create one more copy of the red rectangle and place it in the bottom left corner. And one more rectangle in the top left corner. Make it white. Then grab this dark blue element and put a copy up here. Actually, let me send it behind the white rectangle. In the shape format tab, I'm gonna click this arrange button and select send backward. Let's run the slide and see how it looks full screen. Alright, now let's quickly add a title to our opening slide. Perfect, and now let's animate the slide. I'm gonna select all items except for the text and the gray rectangle in the background. Switch to the animation tab. Let's apply the fly animation. Set start property to you with previous. Duration to one and a half seconds. Then open up the animation pane and in the effect options tab, we will want to activate smooth start and bounce end. And now I'm gonna apply custom settings to each element. I'm gonna select these two first. Change their direction to from top. Then the top one is going to have a delay of 0.2 seconds. And the lower one 0.4 delay. Let's move down to the red rectangle. Actually, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Then let's move over to the blue one. I'm gonna change its direction to from top. These two items down here are gonna enter the slide from the bottom. The blue element is going to appear on the slide with a 0.2 delay. 
Now let's move over to the image. Its animation is going to have a 0 0.4 delay. And the blue element is going to have a 0 0.2 second delay. Let's have a quick look. I forgot to change the direction of the image and the elements below it. I want them to enter the slide from the right side. Perfect, and now let's run the presentation full screen. I hope you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Also check my other tutorials on more cool stuff you can do in PowerPoint. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!